Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways, so it could be your energy, taking care of yourself. Um, okay. Could be a Taurus that you want to come towards or some type of commitment, some type of spirituality, something. All right, Pisces. So we're going to look at the situation, any obstacles in your way, and then the outcome of that situation. So like I was saying, keep in mind the energies can go both ways. It could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Uh, also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. All right, guys. So you struggle for something, some type of victory, some type of success, whether it's with work, relationship. It's been a, it's been a long road. And I think that um, things are starting to try and try to move like a, it feels like a little smoother, but I don't know. It's like ever just smooth. Yeah, see, so you've been waiting on this victory, this happiness, this joy, this raise, promotion, this person, whatever. Show me this immediate future for um, Pisces, please. There's that struggle. And tens are about completions, right? So um, that is the ten of wands. So hopefully something is wrapping up, like a cycle, a heavy cycle. One card, please. Keep seeing a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But we have the queen of wands out here. So that's Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, see, this is just a lot of weight on you with the situation here. It's bringing a lot of stress or for this person. Uh, show me this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please. Could definitely be a leap. Leo here. It's held back. I don't know if it's because of a choice, a decision, or someone's just kind of unsure. But with the Strength card here, um, <clears throat> It's like somebody's really holding back from communicating. You could be angry with this person. They could have lied to you. Could kind of be out for self type of energy. Let's see. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please, for the immediate future. This is someone being very attractive to you. Yeah, see, I can or you could just kind of be out energetic doing your own thing. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Because, yeah, Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with the player. And the reason I keep trying to go with this is because, all right, so if you're not dealing with the player, somebody is definitely very attracted and wanting to move towards you. They could be at a distance. They haven't, though. They're holding themselves back. Um. <clears throat> The reason I say player is because normally I see this Queen of Wands, you know, in, in a certain light. But in this one, it almost comes off like feeling like this isn't you if you're like the female energy here. Like somebody's kind of just been playing games or going back and forth or split decision, not making it. But at the same time, like in and out. Like, never really sit still type of energy. Show me this Nine of Wands. Yeah, see? Damn. The Four and the Five of Cups. It's like somebody is really tired, fed up from carrying this weight, from possibly, you know, carrying the responsibilities and, you know, the bills and things like that, carrying whatever kind of weight on your own. Um, somebody is, is, like, fed up. It almost feels like... <clears throat> excuse me, fed up with being let down. Like, that shit's just becoming too much to carry. It's becoming too much of a burden. Okay. 
could be thinking about something new or this person is. They haven't acted on it yet because the Four of Swords is there. So it's like just about wanting, wanting your peace. I don't know if you've been speaking to this person, possibly not. Um, tell me more about this Ace of Wands. Because the Four of Swords, it's like a healing, kind of laid back. Um, and with the Four of Cups, like not interested in much. Yeah, you're kind of focused on yourself here, knowing your self-worth. Because um, the Moon is your card. So the Nine of Pentacles, like really taking care of yourself, your money, standing up for yourself. It is a card of being single. But like this shit just became too hard. It's almost like if I can do it on my own, why am I going to carry all this weight and all this baggage is how it feels. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they'll be back though. Show me this Nine of Swords. That's why they're the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Virgo energy with the Hermit there. This is a lot of stress, worry, anxiety, but the Hermit is you know, disconnected, like somebody's very disconnected from the world right now, um, going within, trying to do that, some soul search and trying to figure out that path and hopefully rid some of this anxiety. But regardless with these cards here, somebody is like fed up with carrying this weight. This is a very inward energy. Someone definitely just wanting to be alone, focus and concentrate on themselves here. It's a very, all these cards are very like dormant energy. Like there's not much happening with this situation. See what I mean? The hangman and another four, the four of swords. I'm sorry, the four of pentacles. This is complete at a standstill. Somebody holding back completely, um, not moving. It, that does cause some stress, but um, for you or this person, but whoever has been kind of like feeling like they're carrying this weight by themselves or struggling because somebody else has been out here kind of doing, you know, in and out, whatever they wanted to do. Um, you know, this could be anything from like bar hopping to just coming and going like one minute is good. One minute is not bouncing back and forth. Somebody's done got fed up with carrying this damn weight. They're not doing it. Um, and it's like trying to figure out now, possibly feeling stuck, but trying to see things from all perspectives and try to figuring out, try to figure out how to move forward. Keeping those like emotions inward. And sometimes we need that, you know, um, kind of a fucked up situation, but so if you're the one that's been kind of out here, um, you know, then this person may be kind of getting, you know, uh, or vice versa, however it goes, whatever side you're on. Sometimes, you know, we need to know the other side. So, a lot of struggle for someone. Someone's carried the weight for a while here. Yeah, this is it's changing. Slowly but surely, Sagittarius energy at the bottom. So it's that's about healing, you know, letting go of something, going with the flow, um, letting things just happen as they may, but healing. And that's what you've kind of been doing. But someone is definitely in a uh, very inward withdrawn, like possibly feeling lonely or left behind, but this is an energy of someone who really has no desire to like talk, just really wants to be by themselves. So, all right, Pisces, hope this helps, hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, the information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.